What's up, everybody? So today we have a really nice review. Oh, by the way, I am Peepo. If you didn't know already, I am P I P O P Po. But so today's video is actually going to be another review. This one is actually going to be about da da da. Jewel Lacrosse's, yes, Jewel Lacrosse's new head, which is called the Ares, A-R-E-S, as you can probably see right here, Ares. The Ares is named after, of course, the Greek god of war, Ares. And this is going to be a nice little overview of this new brand spanking new head that was released at LaxCon and I was help helping pretty much promote as well as string up uh, that was really why I was asked to be there for them is to string it up for them and give everybody give my opinion of it so on and so forth and I initially got a prototype well actually two two prototypes and I was very scared to string them because they were actually um, 3d printed pieces of plastic and they were used I believe they used like nylon plastic of some sort to create it and if you were at the laxcon you probably saw a few of them after what happened to, as people were handling them and so on they just shattered and thankfully mine didn't break until I got to the laxcon uh, I would think it was actually fan fan day where everybody came in on Saturday and it wasn't too bad uh, the heads were durable enough to survive that and with mine I actually did what pretty much nobody else did at least that I saw at the LaxCon and that was actually using the second rail but we'll get into that in a second but so this head is yes it is somewhat similar to a very decent many of other heads and I mean at some point all heads are gonna look very similar you can only do so much with a head before it looks like something else and before anybody gets into it yes I realize it looks kinda like a hawk yes I realize it kinda looks like a blade that kinda is where it completely disappears and as well as some people saying that it looks kind of like an old brine asset, which also had the same idea as this head. But therein lies the only similarities between these heads. This is a completely new, completely original, very, very awesome head. And I strung my own personal one. Well, they're all both are pers my personal heads, but I strung up my one that I plan on using with a classic three-piece traditional with all Jimalax materials uh, to kind of match my Jimalev from Jewel Lacrosse and Jimalax Special Edition where it has the black and white Jimalax emblems going in this section which explains this string right here to kind of match the whole theme of the shaft but so the head um, actually has no offset uh, if you guys know anything about your old school heads, they were completely and utterly straight. There is, I guess you could say, uh, not necessarily a cant, but more or less an angle back from the straight. And it's not in any way like most other heads. It's probably not even like how the, uh, the Epic Hawk is done. But so very, very just to start into it it's very very simple when it comes to its graphics and aesthetics where you have very you can't even really see it because of the lighting but if you ever get one in person which a lot of people had it in their hands at the convention there's actually this little textured part on the side inside of the sidewalls and that's really as elaborate as it gets you have jewel across on both sides of the top of the, the sidewalls next to the scoop and then right here in the middle you have the jewel across emblem and then you get into the actual side walls and it it looks like they just kind of threw it in there but they didn't there was 
a decent amount of planning going into the whole idea behind the sidewall where you have your first rail which is your front facing rail where it actually has a uh, beveled edge I guess you could say uh, that's at least how I was describing it it is a beveled edge so instead of your traditional stick where you have pretty much straight edges on the very front where if it hit hits the head at a 50 50 angle more than likely the head's either going to go the ball is either going to go out and away from the head or either direction or just straight back out with this because of this beveled edge that kind of i guess you could say is a flare but it's really not because of this edge it on a 50 50 impact on the sidewall it actually is going to be angled into the head so that's a really awesome piece of technology just from the get-go right there and then you if you guys can actually see with this with this image of it you can actually see that there is somewhat of a flare but it's actually a very slight angle to where the front face or edge of the head is actually wider than three inches which is the rule for universal or college legal so slightly larger than that and then when you actually get to the back end of the head on the third rail it's actually narrowed down to pretty much as low as they can go without it immediately being illegal which is the three inches probably just outside of three inches but that's what's awesome about this head is right from the start the aesthetics are actually part of the technology going into the head um, the top holes are actually rather large which is good which is a lot of heads these days have either had really misplaced top holes or too small top holes to really do anything that most stringers or most players want to do with the string and so I think that they did a decent size uh, you can do reinforced triangle top strings uh, I know Shane Whittle did one and the one that he did uh, a couple other guys a couple of the other stringers like Chesapeake strings uh, string theory 8 uh, Dealey 44 and uh, Larry I believe Larry did did one too but there was a number of us in the booth and we were all stringing it all different kinds of ways I was really the only one that even touched the uh, second rail just because I had been that's that was my goal from the start was to string something on that second rail and kind of moving away from the holes the holes were nice and spaced you can see that with the traditional pocket that they're very well placed uh, very big very actually smooth they actually have this kind of I guess you could say flat edge on the bottom of the scoop right here so it actually kind of allows you to pull the mesh nice and flush against the plastic um, the spacing of the scoop it, you would think it would be a little wide and you would you should throw a 10 diamond in it you can easily fit a nine diamond it'll stretch out nicely in it um, but I did find that I enjoyed and found it easier to actually string up a ten diamond top string and it, it worked ended up working out pretty nicely for me um, the actual sidewalls the third rail is perfectly spaced and whatnot for your regular mesh or traditional pockets and it has I even forgot the number of holes, but uh, it has pretty much just as many holes as any head that you will find that's modern made nowadays. So like your Stallion, your Lakota U, your uh, Burn X, your Rabel 2. Why did I even mention that? But so it has pretty much all the same amount of holes. And then it actually has this nice little one right here at the bottom that kind of completes it, which is, brings me into the second rail the middle rail as a lot of people keep calling it um, if you can actually see this the middle rail actually matches up the same holes with the third rail which makes it pretty much easy to string up and put a mesh pocket in it I'll actually use this one so you guys can see a little better but so your middle rail matches up pretty much perfectly with the third rail uh, they did not put a hole right here I talked to them about it and then I was messing with it and I was like no that would, that would pretty much get rid of any st structural integrity of the head so and then I was also messing with it a lot more and it ended up 
being just fine. You didn't need doesn't need that. And then I also thought that there needed to be another one down here, but I kept messing with it, and it ended up being perfectly fine. But more or less, for your bottom rail, there are a couple different ways to do it, and I'll actually get into those at a later date uh, with some pictures, maybe a little bit of video showing how to do it, make it a little easier for you guys. But more or less, well, how you're going to string this bottom rail if you want it, the mesh to be actually flush with the, with the middle but, uh, sorry about that, the computer was actually acting a little weird. Hopefully the uh, timing didn't get screwed up. But so, with the middle rail, when you're stringing it, you actually want to have the string on the outside of the rail. These two struts here, you actually kind of have to, are going to have to string around them, but that they actually kind of designed it so it will be easier to do so. Um, and so the mesh is actually going to be on the inside of the head. With that in mind, when you're actually stringing it up, if you think about it, um, this kind of delves into the face-off aspect. If you think about it, if you string this middle, the middle or second rail, it, make, it essentially makes the pocket shallower, but it's still the same depth. It's just further inside of the head. If you're facing off with it, what let, let's think about it what kind of limits you as when you're pretty much trying to grip the ball when you're trying to grip the ball with a uh, face off head when you're down and you're like set go what you're trying to do is grip the ball within within the head within the pocket the limitations of how much you can actually grip the ball is set by your mesh so if you can actually shift your mesh deeper and then so this actually goes from being level with your plastic here to here you have about maybe an inch or so worth of space that you can actually use to grip the ball and so therefore you actually essentially hide the ball in your head not necessarily cheat but still get a little bit of an advantage over the other guy and actually using the plastic of the third rail, which has, will have nothing on it, to grip the said ball. And, I mean, of course you can string it so that the pocket actually hangs down past the third rail. Not necessarily past, but you string it from the second rail, and then you can actually string it so that the, pot, the mesh actually hangs down level with the third rail, which in turn makes it pretty much the essentially the depth of a box pocket a lot of people I know use really 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 deep pockets that are would be otherwise illegal on field play so that's something for all you box and field players to think about uh, stringing wise it has I already kind of went over the number and whatnot but it has very large holes at the top which I feel is very important the uh, bottom strings kind of finish off very nicely and then your bottom string holes are a little small I talked to them about that and they agreed that they would that more than likely they'll make them a little bit bigger probably about by 10 maybe 15 percent bigger to accommodate the bigger leathers and so on and so forth but if you're just using regular leathers like like I did with Jimalaxes they will actually fit in perfectly fine there will be no cutting nothing like that They'll fit in just fine, no problem. And they actually have two holes in the back. Um, at the convention, they were showing off two different versions of this head. Uh, same exact aesthetics and everything like that. But one was actually stiffer. Uh, the only one that they were actually selling, of course, was the more flexible version, which is what I have. And um, I guess you could compare it to uh, Epic Lacrosse's idea of their Flex IQ, where their regular hawk that's out right now is only a five which is your mid-range uh i guess you could say that the regular version of the aries is a little bit stiffer maybe a six or a seven in comparison to a regular hawk um and then the stiffer version which is more gonna ev eventually be more focused towards your defensive midi or your close defender that likes to carry a lot um It'll be more focused for them. The scoop is very nice, very wide, pretty flat. It doesn't really 
dig into anything, it protects the strings. Uh, the stiffer version, all the deep holes. I know I had one of my coworkers showed up who's a LSM. Uh, well, no, I'd say he's more of a close D, but he likes to he likes to carry a little bit. So this would probably be more up his alley. But the deep, the the more uh, stiff one actually had, I guess it was glass or fiberglass, uh, or at least the element of glass mixed in to increase the strength of the head. And that just kind of blew my mind, like, uh, when Jake from, <laughs> when, when Jake from, uh, Jewel Across was talking to me about it, uh, like, explaining the stiffer version when he was showing it to me, he actually showed me the logo of Ares, and he actually showed me the regular version and the stiff version. The stiff version actually had what looked like flex, like, F-L-E-C-K, flex, where it was kind of shiny in the, in the wording, and in the uh, jewel emblem at the top. And I was like, wow, that actually looks different. He's like, yeah, because it's actually supposed to be different. It's a slightly different mix of polymer in it. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And then the stiffer version, I feel like I could just javelin somebody with it and I'd destroy them. But so with this head, uh, kind of going back into the face-off aspect, its throat is actually very, very... Um, similar in feel, not look, but feel to an OG blade where people would move up onto the plastic and grip it. So, like, I'm not having a hard time holding this at all. We had it on shaft. I was showing it off to a bunch of face-off guys, and they really, really liked it. I had them testing out on the third rail and the second rail how they felt about the face-off. And a bunch of the kids were like, second rail gives me so much more feel. Um, and because of that, because of the fact that it was strung up the way I did it, the ball was actually coming out a lot smoother than they would usually probably admit it, that it does, especially with the new rules they're going on. It makes it a lot easier for them to pretty much get the ball in their stick and then get it out as fast as possible because it's not supposed to be any jerking motions. It's you rake it out or whatever, however you do it, pinch and pop, and it comes right out of the stick. And those guys were actually having a lot of fun with it. And... I mean, if you look at the shape of the throat, it's very, very long. But you can get pretty much any pocket you want in it because it doesn't have uh, pretty much an offset angle. It's very flat. And then it kind of angles in for, for your stringing area. Um, if you're actually going to string this up and you're actually going to want to use the second rail, just a quick tip before I, get, before I finish up. Once you get to this knot, or this hole right here where the the second rail starts use that that hole and then jump to the second one don't try and go up here and then jump down it'll make it a little weird but that's my little tip before I really get into my tutorials and uh, advice for this head but all around I think for a first head from a company that's only dealt with shafts they did their research they really put in a lot of effort to make an amazing head and I have no complaints about it. I've been messing with this traditional one. The balance is perfect when you have it on a Jimmel X. Uh, well, when you have it on a lever or a Punisher shaft and uh, the balance is unbelievable. It just, it, you would think that it would feel a lot like say an old STX turbo but it's not, not at all. It feels like a modern head, throws like a modern head, cradles like a modern head, and it strings like one. There's, it, like, you would think that because of the lack of offset that it wouldn't work, but it does. It's such an amazing head, uh, and I'm really, really happy that I was a part of the launch of it. And the before we finish up, you guys should know that Within the next two weeks, it should be at least the softer flex version should be up on their site. So within the next since opening on Friday, Saturday, they will have released it within the next two weeks. Its price point is ninety nine dollars. So a little a little high, but I mean, it's not like a Rabel two where it's one hundred and ten dollars. Uh, let's think about it. A lot of the more higher end 
newer heads are going to be right around 90 to 100 dollars so in for a decent head i'll i'll drop i'll drop 99 dollars on a head that's pretty decent really solidly made and there they i mean any got anything that you guys have as input not no more or less complaining about the head whenever and if ever you get a hold of one send them an email give them your input but don't complain don't be a jerk about it just give them your little bit of insight as to what you would change or anything like that but i've already given them my insight as to a couple different little things that i would change about the head more or less for stringing and performance but so i hope this gave you guys a little bit of an input and opinion about this new head from a, a really good company they didn't have any super famous i mean instagram uh famous if you will calling me that is one thing but it, we didn't they didn't have any pros or anything like that to show off the head they didn't need that they wanted to appeal to the nature of young lacrosse players and people like you and me and i felt that lo more or less loading up the uh booth with a bunch of people like myself really helped them to get across the fact that it can be strung it can be used you can do a lot with this head and hopefully you guys stick around and follow what i plan to do with this um but so great head i'm not going to give it a number as a rating but probably one of the best heads i've probably ever strung and i can't wait to do more with it so thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe share this video get the knowledge out there that this thing exists and i mean grow the game grow the game spread the brand it that's how this sport gets better that's how all the companies get better spread it make it known that this is actually a decent head so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you later peace